Okay, in this tutorial, we're just going to take a photo like this right here, and then we're going to turn it into a line drawing like this right here. Um, it's an easy process, uh, not very long at all. It can only take you 15, 20 seconds really to finish. Uh, but what we're going to do in this video is just cover the basics to get this, uh, this look right here. And the video following this one, uh, I'll get into more detail of how we can jazz this photo up a little bit so that it's not so plain looking. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. Take this photo, and you see here I created three layers of the same photo, all of them exactly the same. The reason why I do that is because these top two layers here we're going to work with. The bottom layer here is our original photo, and we don't want to do any kind of destructive change to it, just in case we get so far down the line in our project that we've messed up and we want to start over, um, we can fall back to this one here because, you know, once you get so far, you can't go back and just keep undoing it and undoing it and <clears throat> get back to the original photo. So we keep a duplicate here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take this top layer. We're going to change this to color dodge. And then once we've done that, we hit control I to invert it. And <clears throat> once we have that, we'll go to filter, go to blur, and then we'll go to Gaussian blur. Okay, now depending on the look that you have, or the look that you're going for, and there's, there's other factors that will go into that too, uh, like the, the resolution of the photo that was taken, uh, the information inside of the photo itself, the uh, all the detail and things like that, will all determine how much blur you actually put on this. And so you can go lighter here if you have like uh, dark lines in your photo, if you're starting at 2.2 like what we're going to use for this one you can go lighter and get those dark lines out of the way and things like that or if you want to just go for a totally uh, totally different look altogether you can move the slider up in this range and you can kind of get a uh, pretty neat look so we're just going to work with uh, set this to 2.2 and then we'll hit OK now you can see that is basically what we're trying to achieve here now the only thing that is missing is just the black and white look. So all we're going to do is go down here to our fill adjustment layer and create a hue saturation layer and then we're going to, we're going to desaturate it. And that, that will give us the look like it was drawn with a pencil. Now if you wanted to make it uh, you know, colorize or you know whatever you want to do with it, you can change the hue slider around and all it's going to do is just take the color information below and it's just going to flip it around and you change the lightness and the darkness things like that now if you want to change this photo to all one color you'll click on colorize and then here you again you can slide your hue around select the color that you want saturation is basically taking it from no color all the way up to the brightest that you can take it or the most color that you can put into it um, lightness and darkness right here is just basically going to lighten it up or darken it or you know whatever you want and so basically that's it for that one. Uh, look out for the next video where I get into more detail on uh, jazzing this up a little bit.